What do we have? What do we have? Claim Casteroids level 230. Boom! Hey there, Cthulhu crew, and welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved on the Pooping Evolved server. Sorry it's been a little while since the last video. Between the new Unturned series and this series and real life, it's getting a little tricky to get content out often or as often as I would like to you guys, but I'm doing what I can, so stick with me and we're gonna keep having some fun here. Um, today, it's gonna be kind of a beavery day. You know, have you ever had one of those days just felt beavery? <laughs> I'm lugging along behind me here a 145, I think, female? Yeah, I've been looking for a 150. I have had the worst time doing it, so I finally settled for a 145 that was not too far from home here. And you may notice below me in that little box, there's a gift from our good friend Proxy. I believe that was a perfect tame beaver. Um, I, last time we were hanging out, I was complaining to her that I've just been looking, like, literally forever. No, okay, not, not literally. <laughs> I've been looking for a very long time, and the best I have managed to find is one of these 145s, which, you know, is no slouch, but you, you want that perfect tame, right? And she's like, oh, I see 150s all the time at my house. Freaking jerk proxy. <laughs> she, oh man, she's, she lives the good life, guys, seriously. She, she has such good luck, it's ridiculous. So she was kind enough to tame one up for me and leave it in that box for me to claim. So I think it's at like a level 230 now after she tamed it and whatnot. Something like that. So I have not tamed a beaver since my very first live stream on the server, which was like a couple days after the server started. Um, there was a really good one. Well, no, it wasn't even a really good one. It was a decent one uh, right outside my front door. Uh, I think it was even when I was like starting to set up my base for the very first time. I noticed him out there. I was like, hey, a beaver would be really handy for base building. So I knocked it out relatively easily and then took four flipping ever to tame because I didn't have narcotics. I was just grabbing up narco berries and I was feeding it with berries, which is horrible. So now I have good darts for knocking it out. I have good narc. Oh gosh! Oh, something fight me! Whoa, 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 whoa! What was that? Something just knocked me off. Hold up, what we got going on here? Okay, I just whistled my bird on to neutral. Seriously, what the flip knocked me off? What? Okay, go on passive. Follow me. Bird. You're gonna get nipped. You're gonna get nibbled on. What did that? Something did knock me off, right? That's so weird. Okay, well, JF, I guess you're just gonna stay down there then, you dork. Um, but anyway, yeah. So that's that was dumb butt beaver that I, uh, I've been using up until this point. And I'm really hoping that now that I can tame another good beaver, like a really high-level beaver, this thing's gonna be well over 200 by the time we're done with it, um, hopefully... I'll be able to mate this one with the perfect tame that Proxy gave, and we can get some really strong and cute beaver babies. I quit running around. I think you can uh, you can breed beavers, right? I've never tried, and I can't say I've seen it done. But I mostly want to do it because I'm guessing the babies would be totes adorbs. Oh, we're sleepy. Awesome. Yeah, totes adorbs beaver babies. That's what I want. Huh. Oh, sweet, it worked. So why, why are you just stuck and not coming up to say hi? Oh, oh, you killed me a raptor. Hold up, what, uh, what kind of level raptor did we have? Okay, you stay there. What kind of raptor did we have here? Level 140! Holy crap, I could have gotten wrecked! Why am I burning up right now? I thought, so like I put on some of my crap gear uh, it's because of this stuff, isn't it? <laughs> I thought I had stuff with better insulation. Whoops! Noob move. 
Um, okay, cool. So you, you know, the unconsciousness is actually going to go pretty quick. So I need to go grab some narcotics. I forgot to do that because I had the beaver in tow. Um, so let's run back, grab the narcotics. Um, I, I will get the the guy prepped. I already have the six gallimimus kibble on me that I'm going to need to tame this nice beaver lady. Um, and let me so let me do a little bit of prep work, and then we'll check out that gift beaver that Proxy has left for us. We'll claim it, see what gender it is, see what stats it has, and life will be good. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, so let's quick check out the stats on this wild female here. Man, that that torpor's dropping. Let's let's drop a little bit of the narc in ya. Uh, so health, eh, stamina, food, weight. Okay, so not not crazy good stats to begin with. We'll have to see what happens once we tame her up. So she's gonna take six uh, Gallimimus egg kibble, and each kibble restores 80 points of food. So that's gonna be 480 points of food. So we want to be down below 6,000. Um, so I'll come back and check on that in a little while. I guess I'll have to check every once in a while to make sure the uh, the torpor is doing all right. I'm gonna bump this up a little bit more just to be on the safe side while we go check out the the gift beaver. So I don't know what gender this thing is or what kind of stats it has or anything so I'm I'm really excited. It's actually been sitting here for like a week now um, and I've been thinking about it every once in a while so let's come a check it out. Get out of here bug. Nobody loves you. Alrighty, so, it should, oh, um, it's unclaimed, right? So it shouldn't care, although, it, why is it red? Oh yeah, okay, I can claim it. So it shouldn't care if I start smacking on prox tart walls, right? Confirmed, okay, cool. <laughs> um, thanks for the walls, proxy. <laughs> Hey, hold up. Here, let me let me hop in there quick to claim it. I think I could just bring a Rex over and munch it, right? I think. What do we have? What do we have? Claim Castroids level 230. Boom! Tamed by Prox Tarts. Oh, cool, so it still shows that. Oh, and it's a male! Perfect! Oh, we gonna make some babies! And it's got levels. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, good times are going to be had here. Yes! Oh, thank you so much, Proxy. If you guys don't know, uh, Pro oh, Proxy and I have been buds for years now. We met very early on in our YouTube careers, and uh, we've been buds ever since. Uh, so I, I know her pretty well. I know how nice she can be. I know how much of a jerk she can be, too. But, <laughs> but this time, she's showing off how nice she can be. I appreciate it, Proxy. Thank you so much for the very thoughtful and generous gift. It's much, much appreciated. Alrighty, so let's hop on a Rexy Poo. Oh, what kind of egg do we have here? A trike egg. A trike egg? I'll take it. Who trike? Get out of here, jerk face. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Wait, what's going on? What's going on? What's happening? Oh! Oh! Oh, there was a trike nearby. Okay. <laughs> and it, whoa, 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 whoa! Dire Bear just killed an Alpha Raptor? What? What? Hold up. Hold up. There's an Alpha Raptor just chilling here? Oh my gosh. Y'all probably munched his corpse, didn't you? Dang it, man. Oh, I could have gotten some sweet drops. Wait, 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 let me let me double check. Which dire bear was it that killed him? Is it gonna show? Um, no. <gasps> Stud muffin was killed by a dillo. No. I was wondering what happened to all my freaking dimorphs. Ah, <gasps> did some dillo spawn? Yeah, all my dimorphs died to a dillo. Some dillo must have spawned in my egg farm at some point. What the butts? Come on, now? I've been trying to get freaking dimorph eggs. And I've had the worst time doing it, and now they're all just dead, so there's that. 
Um, Molly Weasley, did you kill it? I didn't catch who actually killed it. Um, Ramshackle Pistol. Ooh, Journeyman Metal. Okay, actually, yeah, we must have gotten the, uh, the drops. Nice! And then you've got, you've got some stats. Let's give you some more melee. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so at this point, I've derped around long enough. I'm a little concerned about the torpor, so let's go check that real quick. Um, I can always break down the proxy box. Prox box. At a later date. Um, once I check on the torpor again, I'm going to want to go look at my egg farm. I, hmm, is it possible for something to have spawned inside of my building? I didn't think that was a thing, but now I'm unsure. Alright, so that should top you off for a little while. Food, we still got a ways to go. I'll, I'll try not to get too distracted. It's happened to me a couple times where I, I'm waiting for something to starve out or tame up or something like that, and I get distracted and I come back and it's woken up, and it makes me super salty. Alright, so as we come back over here, let me quick recap some question of the day stuff. So last time I was asking, what would you guys do with a million bucks if you were just, like, handed one million dollars? And you guys had some really cool answers. Um, in general, and I was really impressed. There was a lot of very, very generous answers, um, and just some, like, simple and practical stuff that I appreciate a lot, so it's good to know that a lot of nice, kind, level-headed people are watching my videos. <laughs> I'm glad that I attract that type of person. Uh, so, let's see, I've got a couple dimorphs still, and either, so let's see, a female... And a female. I had the worst time finding a male. Like, I found at least six and they were all female. And I think my male is one that had died. And I would keep dropping them off over here so that if their eggs were falling through, I'd be able to see. And then every time I come back, they've moved. And they're on peaceful, they're not following or anything like that. It was really super strange. So everyone's pooping around here and falling through the freaking floors. I don't care about your dodo eggs anymore. Everyone's falling through and pooping. There's an egg. Alrighty. Hello? I think I need to actually be AFK around, like, inside the building here to get better drop rates. Um, but, okay, so it seems like everyone, for the most part, is here, except people are messed up. Like, I did not leave the Gallimimuses here last time. So, who knows? I don't know. Alright, but we checked. Things are okay. Some dimorphs were lost, but uh, they're not too hard to replace. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, so question of the day last time. Thank you so much for your answers, guys. It was very cool. Lots of generosity going around. Uh, this time, it's going to be something a little lighter, a little simpler. Uh, what is your favorite type of music? I know it's generic, but I do like these kind of get-to-know-you type of questions. Stuff like movies and food and whatnot have been really entertaining to, to hear your guys' answers. So... What is your favorite type of music? It could be like just a specific band that you like a lot, or a genre of music. So my my music tastes have really fluctuated over the years, I would say. I never really listened to much music at all growing up. Um, I played a lot of piano, and my mom kind of sort of made me, I didn't put up too much of a fuss, but sort of made me play classical music, because that's what she liked. And that's what her idea of the best music was. So I grew up playing a lot of classical music, your Bachs and your Beethovens and your Mozarts and stuff like that, playing those on the piano. And because of it, like, I never really enjoyed the piano as much as I think I could have. Since then, I've come across other styles of music, other genres and stuff that incorporate piano and keyboard. And I think if I was aware of those at the time, I probably would have liked it a lot more and really stuck with it better. Um, but So, like, f for example, Dream Theater, one of my all-time favorite bands. They are a uh, progressive metal band. They have a keyboardist currently. They've gone through a few keyboardists over the years, but currently a guy named Jordan Rudess is flippin' amazing at the piano slash keyboard slash everything. Uh, so he would have been a huge inspiration to me if I had heard about him earlier on in life. Um, so that type of music in general, um, that's been a favorite of mine for a while. It's not as much of a favorite right now. I'm kind of 
not really moved on to other things, but started trying out other styles of music. I really enjoy listening to jazz. Uh, I really enjoy listening to just kind of fun music now. Not really pop music, but just fun music, like funk. Um, there's even a, uh, a reggae guy named Mike Love that I've come across recently that's just an amazing musician. It just has really like happy, good message type of music that just makes you feel good to listen to. Um, and oldies, like classic rock and stuff like that. I'm kind of all over the place. I don't care for uh, country music in general. Sometimes, I, sometimes I'll enjoy it. Most of the times I don't appreciate it as much. Not, not saying anything against people who do, because I know there's a ton, a ton of country music fans out there. Uh, my dad and my brother included. So nothing against you, it just doesn't do it for me personally. Um, so I don't care for that. I don't care for like current popular music type of stuff. I do like pop music from the 60s and 70s for some reason. But like I said, I'm just kind of all over the place. So I'm really curious to hear from you guys, like either either what your favorite band is if you want to go that route or just your favorite style of music in general. So we're getting rather close to the feeding point that we need. So I'll just kind of chill for a minute and then I'll bring you guys back in once uh, once we're ready to tame the sucker. And we might even try getting a quick cheeky breed going off here before the end of the episode. So I'll bring you guys back in for that. Oh man, guys, we're just about there. Uh, so 5920 is gonna be the magical number. I gotta say, this method of trank darts and narcotics and uh, kibble way better than arrows and narco berries and other berries. <laughs> that was the worst. It. I think I live streamed for like two hours, and a big chunk of it was tending to a freaking beaver. And this has been significantly shorter, maybe like 30 minutes. Something like that, so way, way better. I highly recommend this method of taming a beaver. <laughs> Alright, so just about there. I have some names made up already, figured out for our brand new couple here. And then, as usual, I'm going to need to rely on you guys to name whatever baby may happen. Or babies, if we get twins again. Alright, y'all ready for this? Boom. Get tamed up, y'all. Get tamed up, y'all. Give me those 72 levels. Mmm, 100%, 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Casteroids. I like it. All right, so this is our lady. So I think, in honor of the gift we have recently received, I'm going to name her PMS Proxy. Thank you so much, Proxy. Boop, there we go. And we are going to put you on to passive. Awesome. And over here, I have this little like makeshift pen within the pen, and I thought it'd actually be really handy for getting these guys to mate, because I don't think they'll be able to wander far enough away from each other. We'll see. If they do, then we'll just have to sit there and spam whistle for the longest time. Uh, you've got... Oh, that's right. I never, didn't put any, uh, any stats in you. So let's do change name. And this guy over here, we're going to name Cleaver. Any of you kids ever seen or heard of Leave It to Beaver? This is really old, like, black and white sitcom, pretty much, about the Cleaver family. Uh, I think June was the mom, if I remember correctly. But it's all about their son, nicknamed, I think it was just a nickname, Beaver Cleaver. <laughs> I, so, I, I only saw this as a kid. The show was really well before my time, and I think I just saw it as, like, reruns on an old... TV station or something, but I'm pretty sure like the kid had these big buck front teeth. That's why they nicknamed him Beaver, <laughs> which is horrible. Um, so we've got we've got Beaver Cleaver, uh, Cleaver Beaver, or whatever, and uh, Proxy here. So let's get it on, shall we? Cycle to passive, and then enable wandering to m wait. Yeah, ready to mate. I want to make sure that these guys can actually mate. Uh, enable wandering. All right, come on, Proxy, don't be shy. <laughs> this is horrible. To make to make Proxy do such a thing on camera, <laughs> you two behave now. Do, should I, do I need to look away for this private moment? <laughs> uh, oh man, it's going so fast. I love it. Do it like they do in the Discovery Channel, y'all. 
<laughs> All right, I want to see what a pregnant beaver looks like too. I might, I might try to imprint on the little offspring depending on how long it's going to take in between. And um, I'm recording this kind of late at night, so I won't have a ton of time. But I'll see what I can do. It would be nice, but. Maturation in this game takes so flipping long, even with the modifiers we have. We'll see. I'll do I'll do the best I can. At least this mating progress is going pretty quick. I could sit here and spam the follow all whistle. I've done that uh, when I was trying to breed up some Quetzals with Fox. Uh, works like a charm. It's super obnoxious, but it works. Don't you don't you go too far away? Oh, <gasps> you went too far away. You dumb butt beaver. Oh, yep. And then it. I dropped down. Gosh darn it. Alright, well, I'm gonna sit here and... Wait a second. Remove follow to mate? Hold up. Oh, wait, no. I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to do the opposite, aren't I? Like, the, the unfollow thing? That's what it is. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna sit here and wait for this bar. I'll bring you guys back in. Oh man, this stuff takes a while, and <laughs> this gestation progress is taking at least as long as the taming and the mating combined. Whoo-wee! So, unfortunately, I probably won't have time to sit around and imprint on the baby slash babies, uh, but we, we can at least get them and see how cutes and totes and dorbs they are. <laughs> I'll have to keep an eye on them for a while until, uh, I'm saying them, uh, until... Keep an eye on it for a while until it is, uh, I believe, juvenile. Oh, oh, there it is! Oh, oh, it's a tiny little baby! Wait, is it twins? Did I get lucky with twins, or was it just the one? I thought I saw... Okay, well, first, th first things first. Holy crap, it's tiny. Get some berries in that little baby. Oh my goodness. Can I... Oh, wow. <laughs> it's so little. Hi, little baby. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the only one, right? Let's get mom out of the way real quick. Come here, Proxy. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Seriously, though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. That's the only one. Oh, my goodness. More berries, more berries. There we go. Keep you topped off. Oh, wow. It can already hold a ton more. So, let's see. Health is going to be pretty decent right off the bat. Stamina is not bad. Yeah, you know, not bad at all, to be quite honest. So, I was looking at the stats of mom and dad while I was waiting and waiting. Oh, and it's going to be 232 from the get-go. Oh, nice. Uh, dang, that's even better than, uh, than dad here. Let's see. Cleaver, he's got 3,500 health. Um, 377 melee and 572 weight. And Proxy over here, she has got 3,000 health, uh, 400 melee, and five only 510 weight. So I'm thinking I might try to make Proxy be a bit of a... Ooh, oh yeah, get those levels. Be a bit of a battle beaver, because I've never tried that. And then Cleaver here can be kind of our work beaver. I'll bump the melee a little bit, but also just a lot of weight, too. Boom! And then we'll kind of see... We'll see how this little baby turns out as well with its stats. With uh, his or her stats. With his stats! We've got a little boy! Proud Papa has a little boy! <laughs> Very cool! So obviously, guys, y'all are gonna have to let me know what we should name this new little boy beaver. Let me see if I can get a good screenshot here. Oh, it's perfect! I'm snuggling the baby beaver! <laughs> How cute is that? Cute little baby beaver with a creep <laughs> snuggling it. <laughs> it looks so creepy. Oh, that that is amazing. That is my, my favorite thing ever, I think. Maybe, maybe that's a better shot. There you go. Oh, we're snuggling! We're the best of friends! Oh, so cool. I love breeding in this game. I really do. I wish it didn't take so flipping long, but I do I do still enjoy it quite a bit. 
So there you have it, guys. It was a beavery kind of day. Thanks again to Proxy. I, I'm getting confused here. This was not from Proxy. Thanks again to Proxy for gifting us Cleaver, and then thanks to my bird for carrying <laughs> this PMS Proxy over. Thanks to both of you for doing the deed and giving us this cute little baby. Oh, oh it has got daddy's little tail. Colored tail. Aww. And I think it's kind of got mommy's body coloring a little bit. They're similar, but it seems like mommy has a, like, a brighter stripe. Maybe it's just the lighting. I don't know. Uh, Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this goofy little episode. I do have some other stuff planned that will be coming your way, so stay tuned. Uh, make sure to check out the Unturned series if you have not. People seem to be enjoying that quite a bit. And just thank you in general for all the amazing love and support that you guys give me and my channel and my videos all the dang flippin' time. I really do appreciate it. Uh, so thanks again, and I'll catch you guys next time for some more ARK Survival Evolved.